Hi there, today's Wednesday. Uh, like I mentioned yesterday, we skipped school yesterday, so we had to do yesterday's school today. So all day I thought it was Tuesday. Well, most of the day I thought it was Tuesday. Sometimes I actually thought it was Thursday. Weeks like this completely throw me off. Um, let's see. Nate was good today. He did do one thing. Well, two things, really. One wasn't so bad. Um, I was sitting here, um, and he... I think he had my phone. Yeah, I think he had my phone in his hand. Anyway, for some reason, he went out um, the only door that's not locked. Um, well, he can get out the back door still, but he knows that he's not allowed to go out the back, out in the backyard right now. So, um, of course, he's also not allowed to go into the garage, um, and certainly not open the garage door and go out into the, you know, front yard, street, driveway, sidewalk, go out the front of the house, basically. Um, but that's what he did. So... He opened um, the laundry room door, which of course I heard, and um, uh, we have a alarm system with a chime anytime a door is open, so when he opened the door to go out into the garage, I heard the chime, um, and I was like, Nate, what are you doing? He didn't answer, of course, so um, I got up to find out where what he was doing. And he had opened the the overhead garage door and um, was out on the sidewalk walking down the street. Um, he only got as far as the pool next door. But, um, I don't know. I asked him why he was out there and uh, or where he thought he was going or something. And he said he forgot where the newspapers were because we get Wednesday newspapers. Um... I forgot where the newspapers were. Well, that I was picking up the newspaper when he said that, which I'm sure is why he said that ridiculousness. Um, and then he said that he wanted to go look at the pool or something, which was probably also a lie, but whatever. So he came back when I told him to and didn't give me any problems other than the lying. Um... And he was good for the rest of the day. That was one of the first things he did this morning. Um, but yeah, he was pretty good for the rest of the day. He got into the trash bags and was playing with them, poking holes uh, in them to put his feet through. He would put the we have the drawstring ones, so he put the drawstrings over his shoulders, like suspenders, I guess, and then put two holes in the bottom of the bag, one for each foot and um yeah I was kind of wearing them kind of like pants or something I don't know <laughs> um anyway and so he wasted probably about five bags I guess um until he finally understood that I actually wanted him to stop doing that uh and that was it that's the only trouble he gave me today um he started to give me a tiny bit of trouble during school but then I guess he realized, oh yeah, I'm supposed to be being good. And uh, he read all his words today. He read better than he normally does. And um, school went great. So, um, and I praised him and how great he was doing and gave him hugs and kisses and high fives and all kinds of stuff. So um, maybe, maybe he can start to learn. To be good instead of bad. Um, let's see. He got a new memory verse uh, this week. He got it on Monday. We should have at least practiced it yesterday, but we didn't. I'm going to give him until Saturday instead of Friday this week um, to learn it. But it's um, a fool gives full vent to his anger. But a wise man 
keeps himself under control. Proverbs 29.11. There you go. I already memorized it. Um, so, um, I think that's a pretty darn good memory verse for right now. Um, what else? <sighs> what else? What else? Uh, I finished, I don't think I showed you this part. I finished another set of slippers, uh, yesterday, I guess. I should have different. Bright yellow ones. Um, I think the old ladies will like the bright color, so. Oh, there's my nook. I need to remember to take it with me to bed. Um, anyway, I think the ladies, the old ladies will like the bright yellow color, so I've started another pair of them. This one's going slower for some reason. The funny thing, and this, I don't know if it's going to show up uh, when I upload this video, but the, the yarn is not as bright as it looks on on my phone right now, to me anyway. Um, anyway, the first slipper that I made went super fast. I, I guess I must have been watching TV while I was making it and really paying attention to the TV because this one went super fast. This one went a little slower, but still faster than typical. This one is going normal speed, very slow. I've been working on that all day, and I've only gotten uh, 20, uh, yes, 20 rows. I stopped at 20 rows. So, um, I typically try to get all 30. Well, let's say typically. On these other two that I made, I went... Uh, I did the full 30, um, before, <laughs> before stopping, so, um, there's 30 rows, and then this transition area, and then, um, 20 rows, and then 10 rows of a different type, anyway, so, um, Let's see. Oh, I put, um, so I mentioned that Nate, uh, is learning the, um, consonant blends and things like that. So, um, he's made little books. Not really books. They're more like, they're kind of like paper dolls, except they're not in the shape of dolls. So, anyway, uh, for handwriting practice and, um, just to remember what sound, what letters make which sounds. Um, so I put them on the wall, is my point. Here, let me go show you. I can get up without knocking my knitting out of my chair. Okay, so. And I, of course, I'm not going to be able to see this very well. But, uh, okay. So, uh, there we go. So there we have a chick and a ship. And uh, this is for thumb, for the TH sound. This is ring, for the ng sound. And then that was yesterday, car, for the ARR sound. And here today is corn, with that or sound in the middle. So, um, and then, like I said, they, they're actually accordion. They're like accordion-like, so... It's attached there, and it's attached here, and then there. Um, this is the only one that isn't actually like a book. This is just one sheet of paper. But all the rest of them are like... Let's see this one. See, it opens like that. So, anyway. Um, what else? I guess that's it. This my very verse is over here on the wall. You won't be able to see it very well, though. Right here. This is the memory verse I just told you about. So, a fool gives full vent to his anger, but a wise man keeps himself under control. Proverbs 29, 11. And he did really good handwriting today, too, especially on Proverbs. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Awesome handwriting. So, there you go. Um, I think that's about all I've got for today. Oh, he fell asleep last night. Um, he fell asleep, or he started falling asleep, like half an hour before bedtime.
uh, Xbox on Netflix on Xbox. Um, he turned on the Lorax and about half an hour into it, fell asleep. Um, which is pretty funny because he likes that movie. I mean, that's why he chose it because he likes that movie. Um, but he fell asleep at 8.30. Bedtime isn't until 10. So, <laughs> he fell asleep, what is that, an hour and a half before bed tonight, um, bedtime tonight. And, usually, even though his bedtime is at 10, um, that usually ends up being about the time that we go to brush his teeth and get him ready for bed and read read him a book. And so he typically doesn't actually get to sleep until about 10.30. Um, and so he went to sleep about two hours before he normally does. So I don't even want to know what time he's going to get up in the morning. So I'd better go so I can get to bed and get to sleep because it's already almost 1.30. It'll definitely be at least 1.30 by the time I get to bed. Probably 2 o'clock by the time I get to sleep. So um, I'm going to go <laughs> so that I have a chance to sleep tonight before he gets up. Um, also, he's very quiet in the mornings when he gets up. And like this morning, I don't know what time he got up, but he already had made himself a uh, kid cuisine in the um, microwave. And he was trying to let the dog out um, so that she wouldn't eat his food. Um, and the, the alarm system was set last night, and so when he opened the back door to let her out, out it went off. And that's what woke me up. Um, but I don't know. He said, he, okay, so we don't allow SpongeBob SquarePants in this house. So during school, he told me that when he got up before me this morning, he watched SpongeBob. He had been watching something else, and then SpongeBob came out, came on next. And so he closed my bedroom door so that I couldn't hear him watching SpongeBob. And I didn't. I didn't hear it. Um, so I don't know what time he woke up this morning, but he. I got up when he let the dog out. It was right about eight o'clock, maybe ten after eight. So I don't know. Um. I guess I should find out what time SpongeBob comes on in the morning. That would give me a clue. Uh, I guess it comes on at 7.30. Because it wasn't on when I got up. So, if he was already watching something before that, then does that mean he got up at, at least before 7.30? Ugh. Alright, so I'm going to go so I can get to sleep, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!